What's up, everybody? Today, we are talking about football and belly. My name is Shane, and this is It's Your Kitchen. So today, guys, we're doing pork belly burnt ends. If you've never had them, it's just pork candy. It's it's absolutely delicious. Okay, and I know you're thinking belly. Why would I eat the belly? Well, that is where the bacon comes from, and everybody loves bacon, right? So, anyways, let's get on with this recipe. We're starting off with four and a half pounds of pork belly, and you can get this a lot of grocers nowadays, but if you can't find it, go hit up the butcher. You'll probably get some better cuts anyways. Uh, make sure they take the skin off for this recipe, okay? Now, we're gonna start this out by slicing this up into about inch and a half, two inch cubes. Doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhat close, okay? This is so full of fat, it is going to render down and shrink. So don't don't worry if you think the pieces are a little bit too big when you start out on this, all right guys? We start with strips. I like to do this while it's still cold, so right out of the fridge. And uh, it'll just, it cuts a whole lot nicer, guys. Oh yeah. Get you a gander at that right there. See, bacon, straight from the belly. Okay, and then once I got my strips done, I'm going to start cubing all this up, throw it in a bowl. If you notice, I flipped it to the fat side down. It's a lot easier to cut them this way because you're not trying to fight through that fat. And you're just going to want to cut all these up into these cubes. And I know you guys are probably wondering, well, Shane, why aren't we doing this on the grill? Well, my knee's messed up, and I don't feel like slipping. <laughs> Plus, I wanted everybody to be able to do this in the house. The reason I chose this recipe today is, well, we got the Super Bowl coming up, and I thought, why not? This is an easy appetizer. You start early, <clears throat> and you can uh you know it gives you about three hours in between these these steps while it's sitting in the oven that you can make lots of other appetizers so why not and speaking of which what is your favorite appetizers for football day um why don't you guys leave me some comments in below so i can see what you guys like to to make too Maybe I'll check some of them recipes out and share them with everybody else. Now that we got this all sliced up and looking gorgeous, it's time for the seasoning. And this is, gosh, this is the best part. So we're going to start off a little bit of olive oil. This is going to help that seasoning stick to this a little bit. So will the waiting process here soon. Now guys, do not be scared to use seasoning on this. This is every bit of this so you're not going to get any measurements for this just do it to your heart okay so i'm gonna start with some garlic salt or i'm sorry garlic powder we're going to throw in some mesquite seasoning the grill mates this stuff is super good in my opinion use it quite a bit plus since we're not using the smoker today it's going to give us uh help us out with that smoke flavor we're going to be missing from this also, smoked paprika, again, to help with that smoky flavor we're going to be missing. And we're going to do some ancho chipotle, just for a little bit of kick. Not a lot, but a little bit of kick. And we're going to get our hands in here, and we're going to start playing with this. You want to mix this really good, guys, okay? And you're probably going to have to add more, so don't be worried like, oh gosh, you don't think you're using too much seasoning because you're probably not. Look at that, guys. That is exactly what we're looking for. Just covering seasoning. We're going to put this on this pan right here. I'm going to 
a little spray on there so it don't stick. It shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyways. So we're going to place these, the fat side up. You can see the thick fat cap. We want the fat side up. We want these things to just render in their own gorgeous fat for the next three hours. Yes, I said three hours. That's right. Plenty of time. You don't want to stick them too close together. You want to give them some space. And we're going to arrange these all out on this sheet. Wow, some of these are some nice thick pieces. That's why I like going to the butcher. Generally get a better cut of meat, plus it's easier to ask them, hey, can you cut that cut that skin off for me? Now I've got another uh, pork belly recipe I want to do soon. It's a Chinese method, um, but that requires a skin on it. It gives you a nice crispy skin, kind of like a chicharron. And that's really good for throwing in ramen or eating by itself. So we'll get to that recipe soon. Let's get our oven going. We're going to set this at 275 degrees because we want this to cook nice and slow, red all that fat down, make it nice, juicy, and tender, and awesome, and all the great things you expect to get when you're eating. Here comes my oven fan. I apologize for the audio quality. I'm working on it. So these are going to sit and what they're going to do is absorb all that, that seasoning while the oven heats up. And that's why I didn't preheat the oven first. Now that we're up to tip, let's throw these bad boys in the oven. Okay guys, so I put them on the middle rack and they're going to sit there for probably about three hours. Every hour we're gonna come back, check them. We're gonna give them a little spritz. You can use whatever you want. I'm just using plain old uh, <clears throat> apple juice. Some people like to use apple cider vinegar. Um, gives it a little bit more bite. It just depends on what you like. So yeah, we'll be back in an hour. Well, it's been an hour, guys. Let's pull this out and give her a spritz. Give a look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna give this a little squirt down with some apple juice real quick and get this right back in the oven. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do, because it is delicious. Guys, we are two hours in and I'm telling you, oh my goodness. Yes, you can get burn ends out of the oven. Oh man, this smells so good. Brought it out for one more spritz. This is the last one. We're going back to the oven. Okay guys, we're at about three hours now. So let's pull these things out and see how we're doing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give these a little test. And I'm, we're just going to call this the, the stab test. And what we're going to do is pick one of these big juicy ones, stab into it. If there's any resistance, that means it's not ready. These, oh, that's sliding through like butter. So that's the best way to do it. But if you're looking for a reading, let me stab another one here. You want them right about... 200 degrees and these are just perfect so we're gonna take our pork bellies transfer them into a different sheet if you're doing this on the smoker which you guys can do this uh, recipe on the smoker still so don't stress about that the timing temperatures are all the same the only difference is I did it in the oven today instead of using the smoker or the grill so we're going to transfer all these over and then we're going to get ready for the best part which is where the candy tasty gorgeousness comes in we're going to go with uh, some barbecue sauce i'm going to use the stubs sticky and sweet this stuff is absolutely delicious but you can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want including making your own i personally use the hell out of some sweet baby rays i love this stuff it's a great go-to but sometimes you want to change it up. 
Also, I like to take this one as a base and make some other styles of barbecue with it, but we'll get to that in another episode. And what we're doing here, guys, is we're going to coat this up. Now, we don't want to dump all of this in here because we're not trying to boil it in the barbecue sauce, per se. We're just trying to coat it. So we're going to start with a little bit of this bottle and then mix these puppies up. Give them a good stir and a shake, and you want these to be covered just like when we seasoned them earlier. You want to make sure everything's covered. And for good measure, guys, I'm going to throw just a little bit of honey on top of this. Because what doesn't get you a little bit stickier and sweeter than this? Oh, yeah. Glistening, sweet, heaven. Guys, last time back in the oven. Let's toss them in here. Same temperature, okay? We're gonna leave them in there for about 15 minutes to about a half hour. It depends on how sticky you want them. I know I like mine sticky and icky. Guys, I think you've suffered long enough. It is time for the all-important reveal of this heaviness I've been smelling for quite a while. And there it is everybody. Pork belly burnt ends in the oven. Smells like summer in my kitchen. Y'all ready to plate this and get this going? This is it. This is absolute heaven. The honey crisp up nice on there, and you can just smell it with the barbecue sauce. Man, I can tell you right now, if you got a whole bunch of people you're bringing in, you can probably go a little bit more than four and a half pounds. We are plated up, guys, and this is going to be excellent. I hope you're ready to dig into this as much as I am. Yeah, I say it's time. Let's get a bite of this, guys. This looks like a nice chunk right here. Oh, smell. Ooh, you can smell the, the little kick in there. You can smell the honey. The barbecue is just amazing smelling. Mmm. Mmm, that is hot. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. That's finger looking good, guys. Thank you so much for coming along the journey today. Hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a like. It'll help the channel grow a lot, and I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, hope you guys had a great day. My name is Shane, and this is It's Your Kitchen.